I know it's getting colder, but that doesn't mean you can't still enjoy a nice salsa. Before I keep going, I'm just gonna start the broiler right now, get it going, get it hot. Because it's the end of the season, that means we have to use up everything that we have in the garden. Shout out to my mom for making the garden. So I'm gonna go grab some leftover basil and a bunch of mint from our neighbor's front yard. Looking a little rough, but it's still gonna do the trick. We're not here for the flowers, but kudos to my mom for doing this, because these are nice. Here for the basil. Got a friendly little bee taking his last, his last sips of the season. As for the other ingredients, we have four vine tomatoes, three large tomatillos, about a half cup of cilantro. We're gonna grab a half cup of basil and a half cup of mint. Also, two teaspoons of cumin and a couple big pinches of salt and pepper. So just as a little backstory, I got this recipe from one of my friends and neighbors down the street, Connie. She got the recipe from her grandmother who is Guatemalan and calls this shirmol, shirmol. I don't know about the pronunciation. There's tons of variations of it in Central and South America. And this is my take on Connie's recipe. So I hope I'm not doing it too much injustice. And I learned after the fact that you're supposed to add about two teaspoons of red wine vinegar. So if you're making this, add that too. Okay, back to the video. So, sheet pan. You rinse these off. So this isn't part of the recipe, but I'm just gonna add this and we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna go with about a quarter of a large white onion. Toss these in some olive oil, salt and pepper. All right, and then into the broiler they go. Okay, so we definitely want some color on these guys. Flip them around, and then back in. Oh yeah. All right, let's say three or four more minutes, and then we're good. I'm hearing them sizzling a lot. Oh yeah, there we go. So we're gonna let these guys cool for a little bit and then take the skins off. For the tomatillos, I'm not getting all the skin off, and that's okay. I'm just getting most of it off. I mean, it tastes great. Gonna take your smaller knife and remove the core slash stem. And for this, I don't know if it's right or wrong technique. I'm kind of just stabbing in the top a little bit, rotating, cutting in at an angle. Once all the cores are out, we're just gonna chop them up into chunks. It is time for the food processor or blender. We're going in with about a half of all this. And then come the herbs, basil, cilantro, and the mint. Almost forgot, we're going in with cumin and a little bit more salt and pepper. Oh, there we go. God damn. Okay. Oh my god. What'd you forget? I forgot to blend the onion. Oh well, that wasn't part of the recipe anyway. It wasn't? No. Did I make a mess? Yes. Is this gonna be really good? Hopefully. I forgot lime juice. smell this thing is putting off. It's crazy. Last thing to do is plate it up, try it with the chip. <sighs> okay, this smell in here is unreal. Let's try it. Mm. 
It's fresh. It's gonna be really good cold. It's still kind of warm. It makes me feel like summer is not over. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Needs to be cold too, right? Yeah, but wow. You can just taste the, the, um, it's the rawness of the, of the ingredients. Mm.